We're going now to a major break in a decades old cold case out of Livingston County. 19 year old Christina Castiglione went missing back in March of 1983. Her body was later found in a remote wooded area. Detectives saying she'd been murdered and sexually assaulted. Now, investigators say they know who did it. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer has more on the breakthrough evidence and how police finally cracked this case. Christina Castiglione was last seen in March of 1983. She was walking home from a friend's house in this area on Five Mile in Redford Township. Her boyfriend was supposed to pick her up. He said he was driving along Five Mile and saw her walking, but by the time he caught up to her, she had vanished. No one saw the 19 year old again until 10 days later. She was found more than 45 miles away in this area of the Oak Grove State Game area. She was found raped and strangled. Who did it? No one knew until now. I remember getting the name from Othram Laboratory in, in Texas and saying, oh my gosh, we just solved a 40 year old homicide. March 29th will mark 40 years since Christina Castiglione was found raped and strangled. Now, thanks to forensic grade genome sequencing done by a private lab in Texas, the Livingston County cold case team says they know who did it. And through family genealogy, we were able to link the suspect to a living uncle um, and ultimately come up with the name of Charles David Shaw. This is Charles Shaw. Investigators say he committed the murder at 26 years old and died eight months afterwards by accidental sexual asphyxiation. His wife is still alive today and told investigators that before Shaw's death. At the time he wished to undergo a sex change and was seeking counseling to do so. Um, she also described him as a sexual deviant. Christina Castiglione is survived by her sister Anna, who told me off camera how relieved she is feeling. She never gave up hope, even interviewing with our team in 2014 to draw awareness to the case. There isn't a day that goes by they don't think about her. Finally, Anna can rest. Christina's murderer has been found. Investigators hope forensic grade genome sequencing can help other cold cases in our area. We're actually evaluating a 1966 cold case that we have. And investigators tell me that Charles Shaw had multiple other run-ins with local law enforcement, including for another attempted abduction. They're hoping that he may be the perpetrator for other cold cases in our area. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Sarah Grimmer.